Okay, so in this class, uh, we will discuss about the topic predicates and quantifiers. So let us start with uh, predicates and quantifiers. So let me write what is the definition of a subject first. So let us define what is a subject. Uh, subject means it is something which is uh, which is a name. or it may be a place a thing or some idea so this thing will be called as subject henceforward what is meant by a predicate predicate it is a part of a sentence which gives information about the subject so this is called as a predicate so subject is something which is like name place thing some idea but uh, what is a predicate predicate is something which is which will give us the information about the subject now in this problem we will identify what is the subject and what is the predicate and we will write them in uh, notations also we will write the notations um, also so a boy named sumit is playing in the garden so this part of the sentence boy named sumit i'm going to call the subject and playing in the garden this part i'm going to call it as i'm going to call it as predicate Okay, and this subject, I'm sorry, I've written, I've written Sumit here. This is a subject and this is a predicate. This subject I'm going to denote by X. And predicate is something which is information about X. So that I'm going to denote it by predicates. We are going to denote by P of X means something which depends on X. Okay. So this is how you identify the subject predicate and then you write them in notations, right? Let me give you one more example. So for the first one is the number beta in my mind is greater than three. So in the B part of the solution, so the number beta that I'm going to call as uh, subject and I'm going to denote it by X. Okay, and greater than greater than three and greater than three is nothing but information about beta. So that becomes the predicate. And I'm going to denote it by what? I'm going to denote it by P of X. So let me write P of X before this. So this is P of X and the subject is number beta. So let me write X here. So this is how you write the subject and the predicate the third one is the computer c7 is under attack by an hacker so this will be the subject computer c7 so let me write it x which is a subject computer c7 and what is the information about it attacked by an hacker so this field px will be the predicate of this particular sentence okay now what we will do is we will try to write down uh, the truth values of some uh, some statements which are given in the form of predicates okay so this is how you identify subject and predicate let's move ahead now what i will do is let me take this particular statement let q x y we denote the statement so how i'll write the notation q x y so now you understand that this is a this is a predicate q x y is a predicate which depends on what which depends on x and y so x and y are subjects here and q x y is the predicate and what is the predicate the predicate is telling you that 
x is equal to y plus 3 right now we want to check what is the truth value of the propositions so first part I have q 1 2 so if I put x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 this will mean 1 is equal to 2 plus 3 which means that 1 is equal to 5 and we have to check whether this statement is true or false according to us so this statement is obviously this is false so this means that the proposition q12 is false it is very easy actually what is the second part q30 so wherever there is x put 3 and wherever there is y put 0 so 3 is equal to 0 plus 3 and we know that this is clearly true and therefore we declare that therefore q30 is true on similar lines we will do the next problem r x y z denote the statement x plus y equal to z so how will i write that solution what is r x y z it is a predicate which depends on what which depends on x and y i will write a colon x plus y equal to z the first part is what is r one two three is saying one plus two equal to three and this statement is true the second part is r zero zero one is nothing but zero plus zero is equal to one and this value the truth value is clearly equal to false okay now we will go on for the quantifiers because we have now studied what is meant by subject and predicates so now let us move to what are quantifiers so let us now write the definition of a universal quantifier okay now whatever x we take that x belongs to some set and that set i will denote by d say okay and this set will be called as universe domain of discourse this d will be said to be domain of discourse means the set from which the element is taken that that set will be called as domain of discourse now we will write the definition of universal quantifier the the universal quantification of px px is a predicate is the statement px for all values of x in the in the domain of discourse so where is x x always lies in the domain of discourse it is denoted by for all x px you don't put a comma also for all x px and this symbol is called universal quantifier universal quantifier okay so when i read this particular thing how, how am i going to read this for all x where is this x this x is in the domain of discourse you will understand in the coming examples what is the universe of discourse if i'm talking about people then the universe of discourse will be all people in the world suppose i'm talking about some school 
then the universe of discourse will be the all, all the students in that school so it so this universe of discourse will go on changing according to our requirements okay if there is nothing available then we take everything available in the world okay all people birds benches schools students whatever is there so this universe of discourse will accordingly change as per our requirements in the problems so this so that we will not mention while writing here so for all x means this x by default belongs to the universe of discourse and px means some information about that x which is uh, called as what which is called as predicate now let us see one simple example to understand the use of universal quantification okay so let px be the statement x plus 1 greater than x so let me write step by step px is the statement x plus 1 greater than x what is the truth value of for all x px okay fine we want to check the truth value of the statement but what is a domain the domain consists of all real numbers so what is the domain of discourse here so domain of discourse is we are going to talk about all real numbers to check what am i supposed to check to check truth value of for all x px in in other words that is for all x where does this x belong x belongs to real numbers px what is px px is x plus 1 greater than x so when i substitute the values i will usually write the predicates in round brackets or i will i will write it as for all x belonging to r comma x plus 1 greater than x so this is what we want to check we want to check the truth value of this particular statement what is the question that i am asking for all real numbers x plus 1 is always greater than x is it true that is what we are trying to ask you take any real number in your mind add one to that real number is that always larger than the original real number x x may be positive x may be negative even if you take a negative number suppose i take a negative number minus 5 and if i add one to that obviously minus 5 plus 1 which is minus 4 will be greater than minus 5 if you take a positive number still it is correct if you take 0 still it is correct 0 plus 1 is always greater than 0 so x plus 1 is always larger than x this is true for which numbers this is true for all real numbers we know this so the answer to this particular quantification this is a quantification for all x x plus 1 is greater than x this statement the truth value of this is true let qx be the statement x is less than 2 and what is the domain of discourse the domain consists of all real numbers so the domain of discourse is r and what we want to check we want to check the truth value of 
means is this is it true that's what we want to check truth value of which quantification of the quantification for all x q x that is we want to check the truth value of for all x belonging to real numbers x less than 2 is it true now i'm asking you that is it true that for all real numbers you take any real number is it smaller than 2 the answer to this question is no because you know real numbers which are greater than 2 right so so this means that this statement is false this quantification is a false quantification what is the reason since real numbers exist which are greater than 2 you can find real numbers which are greater than 2 that is why this statement is this quantification is false okay now let us solve uh, this problem and write the truth values so qx is a statement x plus 1 is greater than 2x if the domain consists of all integers so now my domain consists of what the domains consists of all integers what are integers integers are all positive and negative numbers of this form including 0 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on. so let us check if q0 is true what is q0 q0 means 0 plus 1 greater than 2 times 0 it is as good as saying that 1 is greater than 0 is this statement true this statement is clearly true so q0 is a true proposition second q of minus 1 what is put x equal to minus 1 here so minus 1 plus 1 is greater than 2 into minus 1 just put x equal to 1 there which equivalently means that 0 is greater than minus 2 is 0 greater than minus 2 yes so the answer to this question is also that it is a true proposition third q of 1 what is q of 1 means 1 plus 1 is greater than 2 times 1 so this means that 2 is strictly greater than 2 is a real number strictly greater than itself the real number is not strictly greater than itself so it is false the fourth statement is a quantification now we want to check quantification is x plus 1 greater than 2x for all integers for all x which are integers is it true that x plus 1 is greater than 2x for any integer now you will see that from the part c you will understand that this statement is not correct if the value of x is what if the value of x is 1 correct because q of 1 is false so is this statement x plus 1 greater than 2x true for all the integers no correct it is false because why is this statement false because it fails to hold for which x for the value of x equal to 1 okay when will this become true this will become true if it is true for all integers but here i understand that this particular statement from my part c calculation i understand that this particular statement fails to hold when x was equal to 1 itself so how can this statement become true for all integers right that is the reason the answer to this fourth proposition fourth quantification is what 
false now let us solve the fifth part for all x in integers negation qx means for all x belonging to z integers negation of qx in my previous lectures i have told you how to find the negation now what is the negation of x plus 1 greater than 2x let me write the negation in the next line that is for all x belonging to z negation of x plus 1 greater than 2x is most of you write it as x plus 1 less than 2x most of you write it what most of you write it x plus 1 is less than 2x but this is not the correct negation the negation of x plus 1 is 2x is x uh, greater than 2x is x plus 1 less than or equal to 2x so what is the negation of a greater than b the negation of a greater than b is a less than or equal to because you are missing the opportunity for equality also right what is the negation of a greater than or equal to b now the negation of a greater than or equal to b will become what will become a strictly less than b okay so take care in this negation now we want to check that is this true is this true ask yourselves a question that if i take any integer is it true that x plus 1 is always less than or equal to 2x okay now can we find a number for which this type of inequality fails to hold can i find that particular number so if i just observe what is x what if x equal to 0 what will happen if x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 then this inequality will become 0 plus 1 less than or equal to 0 this means that 1 is less than or equal to 0 1 is less than 0 is that correct no 1 is equal to 0 okay less than or equal to has two components 1 is less than 0 or 1 is equal to 0 both of them do not hold 1 less than 0 or 1 equal to 0 both of them are false correct so what is f or f what is false or false false or false is false so this statement is clearly what this statement is clearly false therefore the fifth answer is what is a false statement this completes this exercise